When we lose someone to death, it's painful. When we lose someone to suicide, it's echoingly painful. What could we have done different to change the situation? You know, we didn't know. We weren't told. We no sign, no clue. It just happened. And then to find out two hours too late that it's posted on social media the way that they feel. But we don't see it. It doesn't show up on our news feed. It just really goes to show you how disconnecting Facebook is. Yes, it gives us what we want to see. It's in front of us. But it, it, it causes us to kind of lose disconnect within each other. You know, if we would have known, then we could have done something. We could have said something. We could have made a difference in their lives. You know, and to find out that they think that there is no God and that there is no love in this world is incredibly painful because there is an abundance of it. An abundance of it. That every single person wearing a mask nowadays chooses to do nothing more than to give off negative vibes, angry vibes, frustrated vibes. You wonder why there's no God because people are losing that light within themselves. See, it's not them, it's us. We need to connect with our light because death isn't the end. And to fear death is to like kind of keep yourself into an entrapment. Where you re are, are you are reborn and resurrected into life again if you you have fear because you have to play it out. So I'm getting sidetracked. I'm just I want to bring connection. I want people to realize how much they matter. You matter, and and if you can do anything to save someone's life if they feel lonely. I mean, right now. We shouldn't be judging each other. We shouldn't be angry with each other, but we should do, be doing everything in our power to make them feel that everything will be okay. To have belief that everything will be okay. Because right now, nobody has that belief. I do, well, powerfully enough. Like anybody who comes across my path, I do everything to show them that belief because I understand things a little bit differently. But many people don't and many are lost and you can do a great deal just by showing them that they matter. You matter. Show them that they matter and let's do what we can to stop the hate, fear, and judgment and actually spread light and love and for once believe that there is a beautiful outcome on the horizon because your belief is powerful and you will get what you believe and this is the year where you need to choose what it is that you believe and it's time for you to believe in more and, and you know, hold space for people. When someone loses someone, you don't need to say anything. What you need to do is just be there and allow them to be in their emotion and just be near them. That's it. You don't have to tell them you know what they're going through because frankly, you don't. You, you don't know what it's like to lose someone, especially when it comes to suicide, death period, any of it. You don't know. So hold space for them. That's what angels do for other angels. And my love, you are an angel. And the person in front of you is an angel who has only lost their way. So be the light for someone because someone needs you today. Be blessed, love. You truly are.